Welcome to the Coach's Corner with Sharia and Sherry. We are talking relationships and boundaries today and specifically yes. New Year and cutting everybody off. Yes, New Year who this? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the posts that crack me up the most. I'm not going to yes. lie. Uh, so with it, yes, you know, at this is a time of year where you're reevaluating um, everything. And, you know, you may even start to look at your relationships and who is toxic in your life. Mm -hmm. And while it is important to remove people who are not going to be, you know, fruitful, it doesn't have to be like an all or nothing. And I yes. think Sharia can talk a little bit more about that. And so we were recording earlier and it did not get it and it was so great i feel so bad really for you good. guys anyway but um, <laughs> like, but we really have this thing about cutting really all or nothing this thinking that if we are in a relationship it has to be a hundred percent good at all times and the reality is that means that you're not even being human in a relationship if it's always all good and so part of instead of looking at you know, cutting everyone off, evaluating right. and determine what types of boundaries that you need to place in this relationship for it to be healthy. And in some cases, yes, some people will get cut. There are some yes. people who you, you've you tried to evaluate, you've tried to do boundaries, you've tried to do a number of different things to say, set the relationship back on a good track. If it doesn't work, you can cut them off. But not everyone and, and not in every case can you cut off people because mm -hmm. some of our co-workers, some of our um, congregation members that we are part of, like they're negative people. And we have to be willing to say, it's not my job to make them positive, but it's mm -hmm. my job to have them treat me in a way that respects my desired outcome in that relationship. So yes. I have to have expectations and then I have to communicate those expectations so that I can set a clear boundary because I'm all for getting people out of your life, but I feel like it would isolate you, make you lonely. And it also has to be some type of self evaluation at that yes. point, because <laughs> if I have to cut everybody <laughs> off every single year, <laughs> right you're, like, you're starting with a new like, family, you a new, new job, new every friends, year. every single year. <laughs> yeah. So then, then I need to consider, Hey, what am I doing to attract certain types of personalities right. into my life? Or am I having expectations that are not appropriate to the people who, to the people's roles in my life? And so yes. that becomes a whole nother video. But I say, we yes, we can have, next. yeah, we could. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, we could have uh, boundaries and cut people off, but we could also determine if everyone should be cut off or not. So yes. I know Sherry is going to talk to you a little bit about evaluating. Yes. So with evaluating whether you need to cut people completely out of your life or if you just need to just put them in a different um, aspect and interact with them differently. One, you want to look at um, the capacity of the person. And so I'm not going to go too much into that because we are going to do another video um, to go into that in more details. But you want to look at just what is their capacity? What is their relationship to you? Is this someone that you can realistically cut off your life and you're not going to have a negative yeah. impact? You know, for instance, Sharia talked about a coworker. If you can figure out a way to cut <laughs> off your coworker or your manager, who determines if you still have a job. Yes. You can cut them off and still come to work and get your full pay and not have any issues. And still be employed. <laughs> right, still be gainfully employed. Please let us know. And, <laughs> okay. and honestly, that also becomes about being able to evaluate how to become a team player yes. or be a part of a team where everyone may not have the same way of communicating or thinking or even behaving like you. And so being able to set boundaries that actually are around your own values but also takes into consideration that everyone doesn't navigate the world exactly the way you do or yes. want to and so not all of our people that we think are negative is really negative it's just something sometimes we're not familiar with Absolutely. and those cases where it really is you kind of you got to get them out of your life you have no choice then yes you can cut them off we're not saying it's I just hope that you don't go all or nothing because all or nothing is going to leave you more lonely than and starting all over with all these relationships that you could have set boundaries in and or nurtured differently and yeah. been healthier. And so Sherry and I are going to talk further about what? 
Yeah, so we talked about the capacity. capacity. You know, you want to look at the capacity. You want to look at the people, the person's intention, and their relationships to you. And if this is someone that you can really cut off where it won't have a larger issue um, or have a larger problem as a result of you cutting them completely out of your life. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also want to make sure that there's a mutual understanding of the capacity and the relationship. You know, a lot of times relationships will go sour simply because there wasn't a mutual expectation that was explicitly expressed. Okay. You know, if you look would just that. like, <laughs> I don't think I can say that again. <laughs> but you do want to make sure, again, that you have an understanding, a mutual understanding of what is the expectation I have of this person that I have an interaction with. What is their expectation of me? Because, again, we're not perfect. No. You know, you may be that person that people are considering to cut off. How you may it? be the person that you people don't look for. <laughs> The people are not looking for it to being around. And so that's even where that compassion and that empathy comes with. It's like if someone is having a difficult time in their life, they're not going to operate at their best um, as their best selves. And so just to have that compassion and say, okay, you know what? Um, while you're having this difficult time, I can't have you as close to me, you know, because, you know, I don't have the capacity to handle that. But I'm not going to penalize you for that. I'm going to give you the time and the grace to be mm -hmm. able to deal with that. Or, you know, depending on what it is, let's say if it's your, your spouse or significant other, you know, you want I'm to be able to try to, <laughs> right, you can't just cut them off. I mean, you could, yeah, but so life is going to be. Maybe that's why we got so much divorce. Yeah. Cause it's right. Here, here. <laughs> yeah, so you want to really, you know, with a spouse or significant other, let's see, you know, what ways that you can support them. Because if this is a person that you're in a committed relationship with, then, you know, you really shouldn't just disappear when things go bad. Because life is not going to be perfect at all. Life and is not so, all roses. It isn't. I mean, if you have figured out a way to make it that way, please let me know, and we can go ahead and trademark and like, <laughs> your strategy. For real. And I think it's really just being realistic and setting realistic goals within our relationships and having expectations that people can truly meet. Like, that capacity part is an extremely important thing. And I think if you know anything about some of the work that we've been doing, uh, Sherry has this awesome program called Walking Through the Pain. It's all filled part of her book if you guys <laughs> don't know already go to sherrywary.com but she has this awesome section within the actual course that talks about how to determine or evaluate the relationships in your life and yes. to actually think about the capacity that people play within that in that portion of your life i think it's an awesome presentation in general because it has seven different seven weeks yeah, 21, 21 steps, steps yes about how to walk through pain but literally emotional wellness in itself some practical steps and so one of them is evaluating and looking at the relationships in your life so that you can be healthy and mm -hmm. so I think if you haven't already checked it out because it's actually on sale right now and I think ten dollars off yes. of eighty seven dollars which is the introductory price so we got like two introductories we got yes. the ten dollars off for the next month until February the first, first. and then we have for the full year of 2019, we are going to keep it at $87. Yeah, 87 I'm trying to make sure I know her stuff, right? <laughs> $87. And it's important that you guys check it out because it's worth, if you can get it for the 77 it's totally worth it because you get seven weeks. The um, emails will be sent out weekly, so it starts off as the first two hours I guess they're about uh, 30 about minutes, 20, about, 20, about, yeah. about 20, 30 minutes, somewhere in there where you get 20 minutes on three different subjects surrounding your emotional wellness. And then you end it with all seven of them and you'll have it accessed for 90 days for you to keep, to go back and do some notes and you'll get a download of the their actual PowerPoint. PowerPoint that comes along with each week for your own, you know, yeah, for your own self, for just so, uh, you know, even just when it comes to relationships and other aspects of your emotional wellness. Um, the last point I just want to toss out, just again, um, just with knowing that you don't also have to make an announcement about cutting people off, I that know, you can right? make transitions <laughs> with relationships without making this huge, big announcement and still being trip. nice. <laughs> And friendly. <laughs> so. I will transition you out <laughs> nice and slow. Yes. No, I'm joking. And I actually, I don't transition people out. I just navigate how much time I can spend with people to be able to stay healthy in the relationship to stay healthy. Because I hope that just like they grow from me, I grow from them. Yes. So... so. And it's time to just reevaluating, make sure that you are objective about not only the people around you, but also the choices that you personally make and how you affect the people around you. Um, but make sure to ultimately that you don't end up alone unnecessarily no. with no one no at all. <laughs> all right. See you in two.